yes my man brave wilderness we are back now people if you guys saw the original video that's not what i meant to say but i'm gonna leave that part in if you guys saw the video i put out earlier today about the amazing bug facts the bizarre bugs that we have and stuff then you saw that i went to go look up a video of two of those bugs and now i'm making two more videos about two of those bugs because instead of yeah so this one the furry puss caterpillar and I was, it's a poisonous caterpillar with little furry spines on it. If you touch it, it hurts like hell. And I was like looking for a video of it, like moving and walking around and stuff, right? And of course, Brave Wilderness said, you know what? Not only am I going to show you, Chavez, what this caterpillar looks like walking around for your viewers. Not only am I going to demonstrate that for you live and in effect with good commentary. So here we go. Brave Wilderness, go be brave, bruh. Make sure you go check out Brave Wilderness on his original channel. He's got like 6 million subscribers. I know all of y'all must be subscribed to dude since I watch a bunch of bug vids. And if not, well then get on it. All right, let's get into it. How do you guys think I would look with a blonde mustache? Yeah, look how big that thing is, yo. I was trying to, I was like, I was waiting for them to get how big this fucking caterpillar is. This thing is gigantic. Like that picture, like they had these up close photos and stuff and everything looks kind of lackluster because in real life, these things are big as fuck and you need to know how big they are to get how intense and exciting this thing is, The rainforests is, man. of Costa Rica are filled with beautiful animals. However, sometimes the most stunning creatures can also be the most dangerous. Defensive appearances are everything on the Osa Peninsula. Yes, sir. Whether it's camouflage to keep you hidden Look at that gross bugger. I wonder how much he actually knows about insects, because he's like walking around picking up all these insects. Uh, and I know everybody's watching me right now saying, Coyote, are you gonna get stung by the toe biter today? Absolutely not. <laughs> the bright colors to warm predators that you would be one toxic tree. That is it's a, all uh, what is that called? That is the poisonous frog what is the name of this goddamn it's frog all about survival of the best bright colors to this work. frog right here is like the size of your fingernail man this thing is absolutely tiny you see it's like on a, how small it is on that leaf and that thing is like a incredibly poisonous predators that you would be one toxic treat it's all about survival of the best hidden or best dressed but what if you don't care to hide and what if you were not born with bright colors but instead one soft looking cuddly coat. Look at that. Which conceals beneath it an armor of venomous <laughs> spines. <laughs> Get ready to yeah. eat the furry puss caterpillar. Yep, look at that. Well, it's kind of like a. Never mind. Shut up. Shut. Just shut up. Why is my thing always going in and out of. Uh... Yeah, look me up. Holy cow. Look at this. Look at this caterpillar. You ain't got to look hard. Whoa. You do not have to look hard, bro. No, no, I wouldn't touch that. Is what I wouldn't touch that. A fire caterpillar. You sure that's a caterpillar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. Watch out. I'm going to bend this branch down because I don't want him to fall on my face. Hell no. I would be in pain for hours. I should have fucked you that. up. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> it does not look like a mustache. I don't exactly know the proper name for this caterpillar. It's a puss. This caterpillar has many nicknames. On the Osa Peninsula, it's known as the fire caterpillar. However, it is more commonly called the furry puss caterpillar yep. because it so closely resembles a fuzzy kitty cat. In the world of science, this is actually a flannel moth caterpillar. Flannel moth, don't there we go. Let their adorable and cuddly looks fool you. This fuzzy puss is covered in urticating hairs. And if you're unfortunate enough to make skin contact, these hairs can be extremely irritating. What's even worse is that just below the hairs are venomous spines. Yep. Get a handful of those, and for nearly 12 hours, you will be in excruciating pain. And what's awful is because of the color and like the shape of it, and because they're caterpillars, they don't move very fast, kids love to try to touch these things. Like, try to get a toddler to not go up and grab this thing. It looks like a big ass toy. They'll get some get right though. They'll learn that the world is a dark, dangerous, and cold place very soon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the little bristles that will do you damage are on the other side of this fur. Yeah. Let me take a look in there. Oh boy. Yeah. Can you see that? Look at that shit. Yeah. Look at that. Those are what dig into your skin. And he's not tripping. Like, caterp caterpillars are not aggressive, right? He's just daring you. Come on, touch me. 
and you go to pet it and you're like, ah, your hand is on fire. And actually, I think I got a couple of them that touched my finger because my finger's starting to itch. Now there, you'll feel it. I'm sure you guys are thinking, oh, come on, coyote, just touch it. No, 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 no. My hand will feel like it is on fire. So he's not going to touch it. Please don't touch it. Now, it's tough to tell which end of this guy is the head. I'm going to go ahead and guess that this end is the head because as you can see, he's eating a hole right through that leaf. <laughs> and we've caught this caterpillar right in the middle of dinner. And I'm sorry that I had to bug you in the middle of dinner, Mr. Caterpillar, but you were just far too bizarre looking for us to not get in front of the cameras. All right, let's see if we can get this fuzzy little caterpillar to show us his underside. Check this out. Watch this. I've actually never seen the yeah, underneath one before. Really him off the leaf you see him? Much. See him whipping around? That. You see his underside? Yep. How's that? You thought it was cute before. Now it looks like, like an infected... The, you know what I'm trying to say. It looks like a tremor, doesn't it? See all those little legs? <clears throat> like suction cups. God, that's disgusting looking. That allows him to move up and down tree trunks. And his mouth is on the end of his head. And he gnaws away at the leaves. Wow, just when I thought the rainforest of Costa Rica couldn't get any more bizarre, we come across this obscure looking caterpillar, somewhere between a sheepdog and a blonde mustache. <laughs> I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, thank God he didn't get stung by this These goddamn caterpillar. These caterpillars are venomous. However, there are no reported cases of contact that have resulted in death. Yeah, I don't think they kill people, but they will fuck you if up. If you are ever stung, the best first aid is a cold ice pack applied to the location of the stain. Yeah. And antihistamines can be administered to help with the itching and burning. All right, Donnie. We'll see you later, buddy. He called him Donnie. <laughs> Lesson to be learned here. If you see a caterpillar that looks soft and fuzzy, do your absolute best to avoid cuddling with it. Don't touch it. All right, If you awesome. thought this was one bizarre looking Good. creature, make sure to check out my encounter with the hooded leaf mantis. And don't forget, Subscribe the to fuck join is me I in the crew me? on this season of Breaking Trail. And I imagine that they must have pretty good eyesight with how big their eyes are. What the hell is that Look thing? at how he can just tuck his arms underneath his thorax like that. That is so cool. Bugs are so goddamn fascinating, dude. Goddamn. Thank you, Brave Wilderness. But yeah, so that was uh, that was exciting. I'm glad that we got to see the actual size and shape of it and see it moving around because that was one thing that it was missing from the last video. And I and you know I enjoyed watching it. I like listening to the facts and all that stuff is really good. But it's like at a certain point, man, put the stuff into perspective for me, man. Like, let's see what it's doing. So that's why I'm glad Brave Wilderness did that for us. I can't go to Costa Rica to show you guys. Uh, and we could look up some pictures of it too, but it might not even do it much justice. But let's see what we got. Puss caterpillar out of nipple. Why is that what comes up when you put in autocorrect? Yeah, see these photos again, they don't really do it much justice. You know, with the size and the scale and stuff of it. They're just, I mean, the pictures are just too up close. Uh, what's up, random chick? Uh, they're just too up close. Mmm, here's a guy who's been bit by one. By one of the, or stung by one of these? I said bit. Stung by one of these things? Wait, these things are in Florida? What the hell? It's a tiny, furry little creature lurking in the trees, one that packs quite a wallop if it stings you. All new at six, our Eric Waxler has more on the insect that causes so much pain. The hungry, hungry caterpillar, it's not. No cute stories to tell about this insect that may look harmless. It's known as the Puss Caterpillar. It's named so because of its cat-like fur. But Dr. Alfred Allegris, director of the Florida Poison Information Center, says that fur Why is, is it in covered Florida? in venom. What the hell happened? Them if they can, if they've already been stung, uh, what they can do is try and remove the spines using a piece of tape. Experts yeah, say I mean, there's, not, no, there's nothing you can do about this. You can't fix it. If it stings you, you're done. Sting bro. more painful than bees, jellyfish, or even scorpions. You can develop a pretty good local reaction with some swelling. Uh, Man, he, even. he's talking like you've already be stung, and he's trying to tell you not just to calm down. I, I, under, I, I, I can assure you, you're gonna be wailing like a motherfucker if this thing gets in your ass. But a searing pain. Hope Wooten and her two young boys are at the. Nah, park. man, just tell her straight up. You're going to be fucked up if this thing stings you. All the time. 
and these kids love to play with all kinds of creatures. Oh, frogs, lizards, you know. Why are you here, lady? What are they talking to you about? The Tampa mom says she'll be on the lookout for the furry. But caterpillars are out in force this time of year. Texas has seen a rise in the number of ER visits. Texas? And the Florida Poison Center Florida? is getting its share of calls, too. Well, it's a protection mechanism for them. And there are Why are these things here? The US. ICE is also recommended to reduce... That sweat. is crazy. Well, I guess if you live in any of those places, too, be weary because they're also in the U.S. I thought they were only overseas. I had no idea. We don't do pest control for these kind of caterpillars. These things don't give a shit about anything you spray on them. They're going to be cool, bro. Holy Jesus. I didn't know they were local. That's insane. How many? I know I got people from Florida and Texas out there, too. So have you guys ever seen any of those ca these caterpillars in Florida or Texas? Because I know I got some people out there. Damn, that's, that's crazy. Well, yo, you take it easy, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, watch out for these caterpillars, man. They out there. Peace.